Hi happy bees! Today I'm going to show you how to create this super easy corpse bride cake perfect for Halloween. So the first step is to find a picture that you like from Google, print it out and make sure that your picture is around the same size as your cake. This is a 6 inch cake. Trim around the outside of the picture and then set it on top of your cake and use it as a template to trim around your cake. And I'm just rounding off these corners here so that it doesn't look too flat. I've got some white fondant and I'm just going to colour it very lightly with some baby blue colouring paste. And don't forget when you're colouring your light blue you can always add but you can't take away so just go quite lightly with it. I've iced my cake with white chocolate ganache and now I'm going to cover it with the icing that I've just coloured. Cut out the main features from your template, the nose, the eyes and the mouth. And set that on top of your cake, use your rolling pin to carve out some eye sockets and to mark where the mouth is and I know there's a nose on this don't worry about it I end up actually making a nose and my daughter sitting beside me here while I'm decorating you can see what she's doing with my template pieces. <laughs> Use a cake decorating tool to create some indentations on both sides of corpse bride face of the corpse bride face and use your template again to mark out a mouth. Go in with a ball tool just to define the outer corners of her mouth and now we're going to create her nose using some of that pale blue fondant roll it and mold it into a triangle type shape turn it up slightly underneath and create some little indentations for her nostrils stick that onto your cake and now I'm going to go in with some black and blue luster dust I'll put a link in the description below for all the products that I'm using to create this cake so that you can recreate it yourself at home so at first I'm going in with the black dust and I'm just going in with a brush in the, those indentations that I've made and then around the outside I'm creating some shadowing with the blue and doing some dust in her nose and deepening her eye sockets here with the blue then I'm going around the outside with the black just to define it a little bit. Use some of your blue to create a, a slight shadowing effect on the outer sides of her of the cake or, or of her face, the cake, the face is the same thing I suppose. Create some eye lids, <laughs> some eye lids using that blue edible dust of yours and also I'm going around the outside of the eye with the black again. I've coloured some of my fondant pink and I'm using some pressure on either side of that snake of fondant that I've created just to create some outer ends for lips and you want your lip to be quite fat on the inside and then brighter on the out or thinner on the outside. Do the same with the top lip and you can also use your little lips there that you've cut out as a guide. I'm going in with my powders here again just to define those features so go around the outside of your lips and also the inside where that crease is. Use some of the snowflake luster dust in the centre of her lips that's just like a shiny dust that's going to help her lips stand out a bit more. Insert some white fondant into those eye sockets and use some black fondant rolled into two tiny balls for her eyeballs. Use black edible dust to create some eyelashes and some white edible paint for catch lights. I'm using Renshaw powder blue fondant here to create some eyebrows. I'm also going to use this for her hair. To create her eyebrows just hold that up against your template to get the right shape and size. And now I'm just going to create her scar. I've waited till the eyebrows on to create her scar because if you go ahead and create it before you have the eyebrows on you might have it in the wrong place. Roll out a large piece of your powder blue fondant now and this is just going to create a background for hair so don't worry too much about what it looks like it's just going to kind of sit in the background and I know I've got a veil here as well don't worry about making the veil because I make it in a different way later on here in the video. So place your hair onto the cake board and then place your cake on top of the hair and I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing there but I'm creating a neck and some shoulders using the blue fondant that we used for her face. Give her some collarbones using a knife and shade that in with some of your powder blue dust as well. And if you like the Corpse Bride or Halloween cakes, I'll put a link above. If you click on that link above, it will take you through to my playlist, which has a Corpse Bride cake topper, Corpse Bride cookies, Halloween cakes, you name it, it's all there. Use two large pieces of your powder blue fondant to create her fringe there on either side. And I'm also going to add in some hair, big, larger hair pieces here on the bottom. So how to create these scraggly hair pieces is just roll out a big piece of fondant, create some hair indentation marks, fold it over and then kind of just scrunch it up a little bit. 
this doesn't need to be too neat because if you've seen the corpse bright hair it's definitely not neat so I suppose that the messier the better I'm going to add in some little curly bits of hair here as well so place some white fondant onto the side of the cake and carve out the veil type shape and then use some embroidery scissors that I use for cake decorating to fray the edges and go along with some shadow grey along the outside of that veil and just tuck it in into the side of her face and do that on both sides. I'm creating a hairband here using some white fondant and I'm shading it with some powder, some shadow grey. And I have two different shades of blue here that I'm going to use to create some flowers and leaves. So I've got this little leaf mold. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. So I'm going to cut out some leaves or some flowers in the two different blues and some leaves in the two different blues and then I'm going to go in, there's my leaves, so then I'm going to go in and shadow these with some of the black edible dust. Stick those flowers and leaves on, alternating them between the light ones and the dark ones and use some shadow grey paint to create some squiggly lines onto your veil. If you like this video I'd love it if you subscribed and stick around for a while and also check out my other Happy Bee Cake creations by clicking on one of those boxes. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!